Hi, my name's Christy, and my website is wiseandwell.org, wiseandwell.org. And I, I want to take you on a thought experiment today. Now, this idea was spurred through an interview I heard with Peter Atia and Tim Ferriss. It was in November 2019. Check out the whole interview. It's well worth your time. But I'm going to take one idea and condense it here so that I can pass this information on to you. So let's think about this. Peter Atia is at a funeral for a friend's mother and he's grown up with this friend. So he's also known the mother for a long time, her, you know, his most of his life. So the two things that the mother has enjoyed doing is gardening and playing golf. And he starts to think about her life. And in the last 10 years of her life, She's been able to do those two things. And 10 years is a long time not to be able to perform the things that you love to do, the things that you're passionate about. So it got him thinking about how do we, how do we train now to do the things that we wanna do when we're 100, when we're 90, when we're 80. So think big here. So the first step is start to think about the things that you wanna do when you're 80. And then you work backwards. So what at 80, your children may be 50, their children may be around 20, and then your great grandchildren may be toddlers. So when you're 80, 90, if you wanna play with your great grandchildren, you're gonna to have to get down to the floor and you're gonna to have to get back up because children play on the floor. So getting down and up off the floor is gonna be critical. Um, and ideally you do it with ease and you do it without pain. So what that, is, what that means, if you can get down and up off the floor, hands-free, just using your legs, it means you've got strength in your legs, it means you have balance, it means that you've got some flexibility and mobility in your joints. So not only can you play with your grandchildren, you can also do lots of other activities. You may also want to lift a 35 pound weight up and over your head. Now, what that might simulate is if you're on an airplane, which we're not now, but some point in the future, you can put your own luggage up and over into the overhead bin. Now, there are always plenty of nice people who will do that for you, but to have the ability to lift a 35 pound weight over your head gives you some independence. It also indicates I've got stability in my spine, I've got stability in my shoulders, and I have the strength to lift up. Um, so that's going to be valuable, again, in lots of different activities. You may also want to pick your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren up. So as they're running at you, if they're two, they're not going to stop. They're going to run right at you. You've got to move into a squat position, extend your arms, and then have the ability and strength to pick them up and to pick them up without the fear of falling. Um, so those are the things you may want to be training for. And so you train for them now. You train for them when you're 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s even, so that you can continue to do those activities. Now, when you go to the gym, if you're going to the gym, maybe the gym's in your fitness, in your living room, maybe you're going to a fitness center, maybe you're going to a park. But whatever your workout is, it should be focused and designed to allow you to gain the enough strength to maintain it for several years. So you need to have a clear vision about the exercises that you're doing, that the time you're spending in the gym, in this workout space, and the time you're allotting for to get stronger, to get better, to perform at a higher level, it has to be structured in a way that I've got a goal and I'm working toward this goal. So. I can help you do that. The key thing to doing this is we take the load out of the joints. Rather than hanging on our joints, we use the muscles to do the work. We align the joints, we allow the muscles to do the work, we become stronger, faster, and perform better. To get to your genetic potential, these are the things that you need to do and I can help you do that. So please visit my website, wiseandwell.org. I've got a lot to say on this subject, so if there's more videos like this one, um, visit my website and reach out with questions. Thanks a lot for listening.